Say less. Say less. Say less. Say less. Say less. No, say less. Say less. Hey, Slash of All Days, back in another video. And yeah, man, today we're here reacting to the Stars album by Young Lean. Now, you guys have been recommending this. Uh, I listened to um, the first song, My Agenda, but there's also some other songs on here that I already heard. Uh, like Pikachu and maybe like a couple others that I heard. But um, yeah, so the song, the, the album was only 44 minutes on long and he just recently dropped this uh, not too long ago. I believe it was like 16 tracks on here and stuff like that. Which, I don't know, I remember the days where um, albums used to be like 12 max or something like that. But nowadays, um, 20 pretty much is like the average. So he only dropped 16, which I think is a very reasonable amount for um, nowadays. And um considering a few of them was already the songs that we already heard before i mean i don't know but you guys been saying that this is uh the my agenda song which is the, the first song off the album was already heard was really different than what i've kind of heard before before and i like it i like it i like it when people switch it up like people will keep it keep people on their toes and stuff like that and not always giving the same stuff um but you guys said that like i like that but you guys said that he, that's not even close to his best um track on the album you said that this is one of you guys favorite album this solidified him as a legend and all that stuff. So, so you guys kind of gave him some 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 big <laughs> some big reviews and stuff like that. So it got my expectations pretty high. Um, but I, I think it's gonna be pretty good. So like I said, I already heard the first song, My Agenda. So we're gonna go to the second song. Um, I'll leave the link to the My Agenda reaction down below. But um, yeah, so here's the second song. It's called Gayo. Yo. Alright, so if y'all don't know, man, Gayo is a popular term for some, <clears throat> some, some narcotics. So I don't know if this man is gonna be talking about narcotics. One put past them, they be, they be talking about some, some different type of stuff. So let's see. So here we are. The second song is called Gayo. Yeah, Some good luck, palm trees and they hide in some from in Miami. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. What do you say? I heard it say that palm trees and they hide the sun for me. That's the kind of bar because you know, palm trees they gave shade because they're kind of blocked. I like that, but let me see. What did he say about yeah, yo? He said, hide in some from in Miami. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo, he said, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, Bro, drops, drops. I will always get hype for a drop. I don't care what it says. It, 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 it drop. The song could be calling me ugly. I don't care. I'm like, Valdez is so effing. <laughs> and if it, if it drops, I don't care. I'm getting hype. Drops, drops are on, like, man. <laughs> but Young Lean has some dope, blood freaking drops. Let me go back. I didn't expect that, bro. while ago i was like i'm surprised that they got a solid backing of course the drain gang um sad boys you know all, them, all the all the conglomerates they're they got a solid backing solid community behind them but they're to me i haven't heard of them until you guys introduced me so i'm like why haven't they hit mainstream because they have such a unique sound or like why are they hitting super mainstream because they have such a unique sound and um such a solid backing i know they are foreign and all but still um, but Young Lean, i would seen, has a collaboration with Playboy Cardi on Playboy Cardi's upcoming album, or, um, son, I don't know, I just know he has a Playboy Cardi collaboration, and that's so freaking random, <gasps> but it's so dope, because it's seen, it's, it's, that shows that they are getting the attention of, uh, the, the mainstream industry and stuff like that, so that's, that's pretty lit, so, I, uh, <laughs> I came, I did, I did join a little bit late, you guys can call me bandwagon, whatever you want, but I'm glad to see that they're still growing, and they're still putting out, and they're still grinding and stuff like that, so. I'm glad I get to be part of something. <laughs> I'm over here. I said if I die here tonight, 
I just want you to go at the end of the rainbow. Hey, rainbow, hey, rainbow, hey. rainbow, 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 rainbow. Hey, boy, you got So there you have it. That was Young Lean Lay um Ye Young Lean Lalo Yayo. Did I say that three times fast? Young Lean Lalo Yayo. Young Lean Yayo. Couldn't say. It. But yeah, there you go. That was Young Lean uh, Yayo. The second song off the album. That it says. So if, so if you guys have looked at the album, you understand. If you guys listen to my agenda at least, that is such a different sound than the second song, which is Yayo. It's like I don't know how. I don't know. I don't, it's just like it's just weird, but it like somehow work. It's just strange. I like it, but yeah, yo, that's a dope little song. Uh, melodic talking about he, he's, he's at the bottom. It's only way one way to go up, you know, unless there's stairs or elevator. Like you're the bottom of all right, but you know he made it to the top and stuff, and he's climbing. He's putting the city on his back. He said, "Boy, I put the city on the back, and now they all sad." <laughs> it's like the city didn't want you to carry, but I know he's just talking about his crew. Um, that's 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 pretty dope. That's a good good second song. Um, so yeah, let's get into the next one. So, all right, so this, so the next, so, okay. <laughs> so, look, I heard my agenda, the next song was Yayo, then the next song after that was Boy Life in the EU, which I already heard, and then the song after that was um, Violence, which I also already heard. So, this is the fifth song off the album, um, Out of My, I'll put the, I'll put the links to those other reactions down below, too, don't try me. All reactions, everything will be down below. Um, but, yeah, so this is the fifth song, it's called Out of My Head. Um, I don't know the song, so I don't got nothing to say. So, <laughs> so let's get to it. Their music an oxyani clarity Fuck him, I don't care 24 first young lean him every night got the best Hold up he said I'm awful oxy cotton I need carrot tea or it's carotene I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and say that man was like tripping off some oxycontin. He's like, yo, I need some carrot tea to bring me down. I don't know. Did he say carotene or carrot tea? I don't know how they get down over there. Hold on, let me go back. This is just a beautiful intro. Like, a mouth and oxy, I need carrot tea. Fuck him out. Hold on, all right, I don't know, bro. Let me go look that up because that's gonna haunt me. A mouth for oxy, I need carrot, carrot tea. Is that like kind of brings you down from being high or something? Let me see. Does he even got the lyrics for this? Out of oh wow, I was wrong. It says uh, uh, off. I'm off of oxy. I need clarity. Claritin? What is that? What's claritin? Okay, <laughs> so like it like helps. Claritin is like a drug that helps you get back to normal. I don't know. <laughs> so let's, let's get back to it. Okay, I thought he said claritin, carrot tea. No, he said claritin. Okay, cool. All right. Let's go back to it. Remedy, so big, big deal, son. Talk to your eyes, leave it all behind. Clear blue sky, smoke, clear blue. I don't care. Don't wanna be near you. Breathe your air. Like, you know, the reason why I'm so, like, I don't know if this is a word, but just let me use it and then just, just understand what I mean. Well, the reason why I'm so enthralled. With Young Lean is because like like I don't if I, if if say there wasn't a Young Lean I don't know who I would go to to find that this sound I'm listening to right now so this is like he's so unique and it's so sonically pleasing yeah I'm dropping gems on y'all I'm so so sonically pleasing to me at least um his ear um how he be like like he I, how he he puts his stuff together and like even the ad libs and how he be um whisper singing and like da 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 and like, I don't know I just, it's just, just I don't know who else I was trying to find this song from, so he's like, he's like a gem. He's a star. I don't know. But, you know, it's, just, I just, it's dope. It's dope. I, I just, this is so new to me. I see you there. You got no loyalty, so I leave you there. Hey, yo, it sounds like a drop that happened every second. I'm trying to catch it. Get you out of my head. Get you out of my head. See? Like, this is a different. Get you out of my head. Hey. You don't need your friends, you don't need yourself, I don't need no one. Hey. Hey. This is good. 
beautiful. This is so bubbly, man. I told y'all he got bubbly music. This song makes you like, make you want to cry and like drink a beer at the same time. Feelings. <laughs> Can we just live in the moment? We can talk about it in the moment. Bruh. Baby girl, I know you adore me. This is beautiful. Shivering. Tell you the truth, I'll give you hell. Oh, oh yeah, also, I don't know who did the production, but like I said, their production is always top notch with these beats and stuff like that. So uh bravo to whoever made the productions. I'll definitely try to figure that out um at the end of this stuff. But like I like I said, um on top of his lyrics and how he's vocally sounding good, um, the production and the producer, they always kill the beats. That's that's a, that's another big thing I forgot to mention. Yeah. So, yeah, the beats is always dope, man. Shout out to the producer. I'm, I'm going to find out. That's a beautiful little just chill, um, chill back melodic song. I know I use melodic a lot, but I love melodic stuff. Okay, I gotta stop for a go. Hey, yo, so there you have it. That was a uh, young lean out of my head. That's like every ten seconds or so, I thought a drop was gonna happen. I'll just not brace my. I'll just not brace myself. Uh, <laughs> it's like I sound fun to do a false start or something like that. That's that's a dope like this chill song. Um, it seems like that's what I did. I, I don't know. I I don't know. I I didn't expect anything. Not like that, but I don't. I didn't know what to expect, honestly. Um, but it seems like he's really chill heavy. But I knew. I do know. Um, I know Pikachu's. Uh, I heard that song before, and, and that's like towards the end. And that song is kind of like rapidy, um, kind of. So maybe it's gonna get raunchy at the end. But so far, it's pretty smooth right now. Like the, the first like five songs are pretty smooth. So um, I'm I'm interested to see where this goes. Cause you gotta say this song, this album is really versatile, and he has different styles so far. So, um, yeah, we're only five songs in to 16, so that's, like, almost 33% of the way, because there's, I see one more song, because it's four, five times three is 15, but 16 minus one is five. <laughs> but that was dope. That was Young Ling out of my head. Um, awesome, awesome song. Let's get to the next one. So, all right, here we are with the sixth song. This is called Dance in the Dark. Let's get it. Here's some unique um, titled songs, too. Sounds so futuristic. <laughs> Dance in the dark. You make it so obvious. Made an ad of a ball. Hey, hey. Light a candle in a ball. I draw in the back of the ball. Hey. This dude can have the hypest. This ain't. This is. It got a lot of drops and a lot of bass, and that's dope. But it ain't the hypest song. But it seemed like this dude can have like the hypest beat, and this dude would just still be whispering. It could be like, boom, nah, nah, nah. And like, oh, I don't know, bro. But it, it always, it, it always coincides and always works. But it's just that's just. I just noticed that. That's pretty funny. See, so I don't know what that meant, but it probably was beautiful. Cause he, cause he said dancing in the dark, just sparks, 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 sparks. So does that mean like him and whoever he was dancing with, you know, when people say those sparks flying, like chemistry, maybe they had so much chemistry and it was dancing in the dark. Maybe he's talking about sex. See, there's so many like entendres and stuff on here. It's hard, but, but I'm gonna go with that. Maybe they they was, you know, play wrestling, you know, in the dark, you know, sparks. So, I, I, okay, I think I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take with it. <laughs> there we go. That's hard. Dancing in the dark, no heart. Maybe he didn't have feelings for her, but it just felt good. Dancing in the dark. You make it so. This is 
like a, a, a this song is filled with like a bunch of just metaphors and stuff, which I like it. It's kind of like you're leaving it up for interpretation. Ooh, I'm gonna pause it. Okay, so there you have it. That was Young Lean Dance in the Dark. Like I said, man, that song. Um, I kind of like those songs because it's like a symbolic type songs, and it's up for you guys to get um take what you um take what you want from the song, basically like that. Like my interpretation was dance in the dark, no heart, just sparks dancing in our dark. Come on, guys, we're grown. Oh, uh, you know, and there's no heart, so maybe he didn't really love the girl, but it felt good. You know, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Um, I don't know, but. Yeah, I, I, I dig that. Like I said, the bass drop and him just kind of staying calm. There's something to that that it just works. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it just works. I, I, I love his sound. Um, so yeah, there you, there you have it again. I was Young Lean, Dance in the Dark. Uh, dope. I, I like that. Dope song. All right, so here we are with the next song. This song is called Acid at 7-Eleven. I imagine that's a crazy trip. Um, yeah, I don't know what it sounds like, but let's get into it. Yeah, she know I'm straight, she wanna go with me Thumbs up on my sleeve and she don't wanna see me Different personality, she wanna be with me Shake it when I run up, I'm a fiend, yeah Deep change on me, she don't wanna change on me yeah. No, change on me, they won't hate on me They don't know they won't Bro, his ability to like, like, I don't know Be so versatile with like the, the rapping and like the singing, the these type of bubbly beats, the content he's even rapping about, about like girls and fancy clothes and then drugs and all stuff. Like those are the type of people who's gonna stay around for a while, you know. And also like look look at this album cover. Like it's him with green and a red dot. It's just I don't it's I don't know. It's like these type of artists I can see the ones with this unique type of talent. They're gonna stay around for a while, and you always just gotta sit back and appreciate it. Cause you know sometimes the 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 run they I don't know sometimes the run stops. But you gotta appreciate it for like what it was and how unique it was. So I don't know, you know, but I appreciate it. Just be <laughs> I appreciate it a lot. I sold my soul when I was very young. I'm so gone. Hey, no. Said I sold my soul when I was very young. What did what what did you do? Yeah, <laughs> what like did you like sacrifice your 64 crayon box or something? I, I, I sacrificed because he's like young now, so. at 7-Eleven. Now, I didn't know, I didn't know he was blatantly just gonna come on and say, acid at 7-Eleven. I, I didn't know, but he did it, and it freaking worked, bro. That, 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 like, I don't know. I just, there's no words, man. So there you have it. That was, again, Young Lean, at 7-Eleven. Beautiful song. Um, Really dope, really dope. This album so far is kind of holding up to what you guys saying. It's kind of a banger, and um, I don't even know if I got to the best songs yet, so I don't know, but so far, so good. So here we are with the next song. This is Stars. This is um, the name of the album. So I mean, this is like the self-titled track. Usually what that is, is that's like 
This song is usually like the uh it carries the main theme of the album and stuff like that. When I don't know. So we'll see. This is supposed to be like the heart and soul of the album, really. If it's named after the album, it gotta be heart and soul. So I have to take some and it's four minutes and twenty seconds long. Alright, so without further ado, let's get into it. Good, beautiful music to listen to while you're just zoning out and like just chilling. Maybe even around like a group of childhood friends or something like that. I'm trying to paint a very specific uh, scene, but it just it seems like that's like this is like the the scene in the movie where like they all it's like the four kids from high school just went through something crazy. Like they found the alien and then they let them go home and it's like that and they're just looking around like we'll be we friends forever. And then they disappear one by one, and it tells what happened. Like, Jimmy got hit by a train shortly after leaving this place. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't know, but you know what I mean? It's just like, it seems like there's this that's, that's zone out, chill chill type, like, you know, with like friends, or just, even just by yourself, while you try to think about what's out there in the universe. Maybe I'm getting too deep. But, you know, I, like, I think that's what his kind of music is. His music is pretty, like, I don't know. It's, it's eye opening, maybe? I don't know. Third eye opening? I don't know. He wish he can go back to when they were sleeping grass. Sleeping grass? Hey. Uh, bro, didn't I say that? Didn't I say this song is like, like reminiscing about the good times and that? Bro, I'm telling y'all, I know I be sounding like I be saying nonsense, but there's a bunch of truth behind my reviews, I'm telling y'all. Y'all just gotta, hey, take for it is, it is, it is some comedic in there, but it really, like, I'm telling y'all, bro, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> Yo, Valdez Santoro out here reviewing songs, it's crazy, but let's, let's get back to it. It's like that reminiscing, like, chilling, thinking about the memories type song. Really spacey though, I, I admit that. Glimmering shadows are keep with the stars, with the stars, yeah. Damn, that kind of scary. Solid ground, but tonight with the stars and the stars, yeah. She walks, she walks back. Bro, they always look at the song, it's like five foot up in it. Stars, yeah. Of song so this is so we, we already got through three minutes of the song right but it i i could listen like when a song's like this and has so many different changes up and it's so melodic and it like it seems like everything flows into each other but it's like a it's like it's like a ride in disney world we just see different movies and stuff like that it's like always changing so you're on that ride and theoretically you can't really get off because you're on that ride till you get off at the end right but you don't really care about getting off because you're seeing so many different things it's distracting you kind of that you're really kind of stuck you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, but you get what I'm saying, like, it feels like, it's so changing, and so, um, it pleases my ears, because he's, like, soft singing, and, like, nothing's too really, like, raspy, or something, I don't know, what, what, that, but, but, you know, it's, like, so melodically, I was trying, I was trying not to say melodically, because I've been saying a lot, but I'm just saying, but it's so melodically, it's so melodic, and, um, it's, I don't know, man, it's dope, it's dope. Oh. I also want to say, he said, he said, she walks on solid ground, but tonight she's with the stars. Song with the stars. I, said, I like that, I like that. This is a good, um, good song. 
song that has an album name on it. Really good song. This is amazing and getting emotional. <laughs> um, only because this is kind of reminded me of the situation that I had when I first kind of listened to Little Peep. Um, like, cause I've heard I I, I don't I might have heard of Young Lean before. I really like listened to him. I, I don't know. Maybe it's like a chance, but let's just add that. I don't matter. Um. So, but yeah, I heard a little peep though before I listened to him, and but I never gave him a chance because his name was Little Peep. I was like, what the hell? What the, what is that? I know so many little rappers popping all the time. I never gave him a chance. And um, um. But then I stumbled upon his music. Um. Also, when when he passed away, I seen that notification. Some it hit me hard for some reason. You know, I was like, oh wow, he passed away. I never listened to him. I didn't really know much about him. I was like, wow, that sucks. You know, such a young, young, young soul go taken so soon, and so like that. And, and then I, I listened to his, his music, and I was like, "This is not what I expected." And then I react to it, and then you guys was telling me, "Yo, let's do this, let's do that, blah blah blah, blah and snowball." And he makes Lil P makes such beautiful music, but I never gave him the chance because I just didn't expect, like, didn't expect it. And now Young Lean, um, and um, now I'm Young Lean. What the hell? <laughs> this dude is making godlike music, and I just would have never expected it. Like this is, this is awesome. Like I'm gonna download this whole. Oh, I don't. I'm probably. I don't have listened to the rest, but so far all the songs are really, really good. So I'm um, more than likely I'm probably gonna download this whole album. Definitely this song. This is, this is beautiful. It's just it get me emotional. It's just like there's so many things that you don't know is good because you write it off too soon. But um, yeah, man. <laughs> Did not think I was gonna get some type of emotional from freaking this album, but hey, whatever. <laughs> so there you have it. That was Young Lean Stars. Amazing, man. No, I'm not gonna say any much more. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> All right, so here we are with the next song. Uh, this is called Hellraiser. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. It's hard. Hey, <laughs> you gotta follow up a hard song right there, but. See. Evil do repair razor. What you doing? Getting paper. Hey. Evil twin right. We laser, we not raver. Start the bit of dark. Hey. Evil sip our hey. games, we dark. Hey. I'm not stable. Paper chaser, where you from? Encourage, I'm on. See? Make it so I guess so. I guess it may be because this is kind of getting like a rappy type, rap pop type thing that is like. Popular nowadays, so I guess this album is kind of like you know. So that already, already, so, I mean, he's he's already sort of shook. He's already showed off his versatility. So um, but this, this is a pleasant little switch up. Hey. What's your wish, stargazing, car racing, you know? I can't write no law statement. Yeah, we heartbreakers. They can't write no statement. He's in the streets like that. I'm scared from the star fragrance. Hell racing. Suiciders on a limousine. Self hatred. Live your dreams, don't chase them. Live your dreams, don't chase them. Well, don't you gotta chase your dreams a little? Live your dreams, don't chase them. Maybe he's saying. Don't. That's confusing. <laughs> Live your dreams, don't chase. Maybe it's like he's like go get them, but you gotta chase them to get. I don't know. But I, I get what he's saying though. I like. I like it. Hey. Stack getter, move silent like a black feather. That's hard. Mm -hmm. Make it wish star glacier. Mm -hmm. I feel like Obi-Wan. I feel like Obi. Is it Obi-Wan or Kobe Wan? Or Shinobi Dunn? I don't know what he said exactly, but. <laughs> Is that it? It's about to be it. That was, I like that. That was, that was dope. That was different. It was, like, it was like on the verge of being like a pop rap song. Uh, that was dope. I like that. All right, so there you have it. That was Young Lean Hellraiser. Cool little song, you know. Switch out a lot of the, the beginning songs, a lot of m melodic and singy and kind of whispering. This one kind of got, he got, he's got in his rap bag. He like, like teased it, he like take the, 
I'll never do that again. But he like tasted it, you know. So I, I feel like the rest of like I knew Pikachu's coming up, and I was a rap song. So and this is getting close to Pikachu. Um, so I, I feel like he's about to get into his bag with the rap bag. But that was dope. So yeah, that was dope. Let's get into the next song. All right. So the next song we got here is Butterfly Paralyzed. Butterfly Paralyzed. Butterfly Paralyzed. Did that rhyme? I don't know if that rhymes. But a uh, unique little title song name. So I don't know what we're about to be store for. But let's get it. School is out in summer, keeping me paralyzed. Things that summer brings, who do you think I came to? Hey, yo, they be killing it in the studio. So he said, Grey left you paralyzed. I, I, I mean. The effects they be using on her voice is like really, really like dope. And then again with the beats is so unique, it's crazy. Bro, them vocals, man. I know there's like effects on it and all, but it's just. Crazy. I would not, man, that's crazy. I would not think Young Lee would be like, does this. Sorry, I don't have much to say, but I, I, I like I'm getting really, really, uh, I'm getting really enthralled. I used that before. I'm, I'm making it a thing. I feel like it is a word already, but if not, let me get that. Um, I'm really, I really have it. That was Young Ling Butterfly Paralyzed. Uh, I'm getting really enthralled. I'm trying to really, um, soak in the music because it's like, like on another, like this isn't just some typical, da da da, um, youngster type music. This is like, this is like, like award type nominated type winning type music <laughs> type you know this is type music you know this i i don't I just, it's just this man this is lit man this is so good it's so good all right let's get to the next song all right so here we are with the next song this song is called dog boy um what i can appreciate though so far i think like most of them if not all of his songs like the title name they're we're unique and da 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 but he actually says them in the song which is a lot like they, a lot of people name the song something totally different from what they're talking about but he's actually he actually talks about what he's saying. So this song is called Dog Boy. So I'm really curious to how he's gonna incorporate Dog Boy into this song. But alright, let's let's see. Just a dark boy. <laughs> and, oh, like I'm telling you, man, there's something about saying like having a calm, collected voice, and then there's the beat going crazy while you simultaneously just keep, um, continuously go off and stuff like that, man. That's oh my goodness. And he really said dog boy. It's like one of his first lyrics. I right, man, this dude's this dude's killing it right now. Hold up. Hey, dog boy. Boy, boy. Oh, that was it's, it's like a sad boy. He said, "Smile, cause I have to." You smile, cause you want to. That was like a cry for help. That's pretty sad, actually. <laughs> Damn. All right. Boom! This thing. Oh my goodness. The production. Let me, don't let me talk, don't. Is this white armor again? It's so, bro. He's goaded. Hold up. Let me look up who, who made the production, because I have to know. Let me see. Who produced this? Because they like Shaq and Kobe together. Okay, so Young Lean. So it seems like white armor made 
all of them. I didn't go through and check all of them, but from like half of the songs I clicked on, it says White Armor. So like I said, bro, I, that dude is so good, bro. <laughs> White Armor and Young Lean, bro. That's a mate. Oh my goodness. All right, let me, let me go back to it. Hey. All right, so there you have it. I was Young Lean Dog Boy. Did, okay, so it's called Dog Boy, all right, and he's been saying the name of the chorus and all of us like the name of the, the the name of each song he's been saying in his song, which is really dope. But it's called Dog Boy. What the hell? I did not expect Dog Boy. This is like one of my favorite songs of the album. That's that's really crazy. I like that. I like that so much. I like the upbeat bass drops. Um, I like when it keeps it calm, but it's like the beat still going crazy and stuff like that. Of course, that I, I like that. That's one of my favorite songs. All right, so here we are with the next song. This song's called Ice Heart. Um, yeah, let's get into it. I swear, that's not, that, that seems like a, a phrase that can be used in a song. <laughs> hey. Ice heart, I saw my neck as it like hearts. 496 like G Star. I hit you quick, fast like darts. Fast like darts. Brother Card, don't we know go yard. Hey. Fuck what you say, I go hard. Get up in the backyard. <laughs> That boy did say I go hard. Elm, I'm gonna, I gotta, I gotta hear that drop again. He dropped and had a drop from the drop. I go hard. <laughs> I can't follow him. That's a war. Like, this boy just got done rapping hard as and now he's singing. Like, I like, like, his versatility is crazy. He said, don't hit my line, I got a beeper. Does he really got a beeper? Because if so, that's some, that's, he's taking uniqueness to another level. He's, his uniqueness is unique. <laughs> Who has a beeper anymore? All right, my fault, my fault. I just, sorry. Right, I couldn't, like, get by that. Don't get the close, get a seat, sure. I cannot follow him and leave. He's like talking about like stunting on people and also talking about this like a wanting a girl. Mm -hmm. Go hard. F what you say, I go back. Play with my life, new guitar. I don't really I don't know what that means, but I cannot follow on Oh shoot. Alright, so there you have it. That was Young Lean Ice Heart, bruh. It's, 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 it's oh man, this album is so well spaced out. Because in the beginning, I mean, it was, it's all hard, but it's like, these, so, like I, I told you guys, so you guys in the beginning. The beginning was like the softer soon, and now he's like getting into like his grimy and stuff like that. Like, I don't know, man. So yeah, man, this is dope. So there you have it. That was um, Young Lean Ice Heart. Crazy. The man had a, 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 the song had a drop, and then from the drop, there was another drop. It was like Niagara Falls. I never been there, but I assume there's a lot of drops there. Probably I don't know, but yeah, that's, that's, that's dope. That's dope. All right, so we're here with the next song. The song's called uh, "Low." Uh, yeah, let's get it. Okay, so he said, he said the song, said the song title again. Hey. Bro, y'all see it? You heard what he's saying? He's a dance with the devil in the... He said, I made a deal that'll set you free. Dance with the devil in the flower dress. Can you say something about cuckoo? He just started saying some red, random poetic stuff. So it's like... Bruh, it's so much to decipher. It's insane that you just gotta just sit back and just accept it for what it is. James. Oh, or just fire. It's just, it's, just, it's just crazy. There's so much stuff that's probably going over my head, but whatever. <laughs> it just sounds dope. Hey, hey. hey. 
job. Hold up, he said, I want to break into your house. Is he like trying to like save her from like suicide or something like that? Young Lean the hero? Super Lean? Alright, let's get back to that. Oh, I can't work a straight job. But I work hard like my mom. So oh. I break it into half. Oh, I break it into half again with you. Oh my goodness. That's dope. Always appreciate when people respect their moms. Or their dad. But moms. Yo, alright, yo, alright, so there you have it, that was Jungling Love, oh man, what I, can, what I appreciate about this album is that, like, every single song is, like, a different feel, like, okay, of course, like, someone has similarities, but it's, like, like, the whole thing is, like, a kind of different feel, so it's, in 16 songs full of just different, um, vibes and feelings, kind of, while also, like, it's, like, being the same animal, but different beasts. Shout out to Kobe. Um, you know, like, it's like, it's just, I, I, like, that. Oh, man, that's dope. There you have it. I was jungling low. Another good song. So far, uh, I haven't found a song on here that is, like, have been mid or bad or something like that. So, but we do got, I think, like, two songs left. So, let's see who holds up. My hair is all messed up from, like, bobbling my head back and forth. But it's going to get messed up again. So, there's no point in even fixing it. <laughs> but, yeah, here we are with the next song. This is called um, Sunset Sunrise. Sunset Sunrise. Hmm. Sounds beautiful already. Let's get into it. What the hell? What kind of? Wait, wait, hold up. That was, that was really strange. They like dropped the plate and then dropped the beat. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's Out, out, out. He, does he ever raise his voice? It seems like this dude's like a well-behaved young man. He does not raise his voice at all. He, like this he got some of the darkest, grimmest beats, and this dude's just running through the desert like a cowboy. In the... <laughs> like the boy does not raise his um oct 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 octones, octanes. I, I don't know wave waves. I was trying to be. He does not raise his voice at all. <laughs> Hold on, all right, let's let's get to it. Let's go back a little bit. Say you know what it feels like to die. What? Hey. This is gonna be his, like, he's gonna get into the mainstream. I don't know if that's what he wants, but this is the ticket. Not like a song with the whole album. What the heck? He said, holy water spit it on me like when you play rough. Is he like got a relationship with like a priest or something? Like, hold it's holy water spitted on me like when you play rough. That's probably another metaphor that I'm just not getting. It's just this guy is different, bro. <laughs> like when you play rough. Oh, oh, I missed it. <laughs> Just how versatile Young Lean is, also how versatile White Armor is, because these beats are all different, but all fire. I 
Alright, so there you have it. That was Sunset Sunrise uh, by Young Lean. Dope little song. I like how it was kind of like a grim type beat. It wasn't too much like poppy, like piano type, you know, stuff like that. It like, wasn't like, it's kind of like a dark grim beat and like a simple kind of bass tone. Wasn't too much extras and flares added onto it, so I, I appreciate that. Because a lot of the other song has a lot of sparkles and stuff like that, which is, they're all dope. It's just, it's cool to hear something like the bare basics and Young Lean come through and talk about pre, pre sex. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, alright. That, that's dope. I like that. Alright, so here we are with the last song of the album. This is called Put Me in a Spell. I don't know what he's gonna do because this last song and he, he this whole album kind of served like a like every each song kind of served like a purpose almost. Um, so I, I don't know what he's about to do with it, but it's the last song, so I'm expecting something crazy. But let's get into it. like the pain in his voice that was hold up you can kind of hear it you hear that oh. dang that's kind of depressing <laughs> i wonder who he's talking about like look she's like amazing bro there's definitely some chill out kind of vibe to type song. This is like a, like a send off. It's kind of sad. He's like he's sad y'all we're leaving and listening to him. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, there you go. Hey. It's our boy send off an album right here. This is beautiful. It's like a it's like a send off. I just wonder what he's really talking about. Like, what's the whole meaning? Wow. So there you have it. That was the last song off the album. That is put me in a spell. I, I don't know the whole theme of it. I don't know the theme of a lot of songs. There's obviously, no one really knows the real meaning besides him. But um, that was, that's a beautiful way to send it off. It wasn't like no drums, bass, da da da. It was just like him and his vocal bag with the with some risers and stuff on the beat to make it da da da. But come down. That's a that's a great send off though. Beautiful way to end a beautiful album. Um yeah man. So like I said, there you have it. That was. Young Lean stars album, five stars out of five stars. I'm, I'm not even kidding. I, obviously, I was the stars of the play on the word, but I'm saying five stars out of five stars for this album. This is a beautiful album, man. I didn't really, I didn't, I got expected some heat because from what I, I'm kind of still new to the whole Cucumber, um Young Lean and that. Um, but from what I heard though, he's a talented guy. But I didn't expect him to come through and 16 songs out of 16, because I listened to the other ones already, uh, 16 songs out of 16, him come through and just kill each, every one of them without them sounding the same, without it becoming repetitive, them all sharing a different um, kind of meaning, you know, and just, it's just dope, man. That was an awesome album. I'm glad I got to finally sit down and listen to it, guys. Um, sorry if I'm late. I don't think I'm too late. I was kind of new, but still, that's awesome. Awesome. Hope this program propels him into whatever stratosphere he wants to get into because this is dope. This is dope, man. This is dope. So, yeah, man. There you guys have it again. Let me know what you guys think of the album, any song. What are you guys' favorites? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll be sure to listen to your um, comments and get to them as soon as possible. But, all right, y'all. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to the gang, comment from anything, share with your friends. Follow me is over here. Also down below, Patreon, Discord, also down below, support channel if you can. If not, I still love you guys, but yeah, it's been a lot of dads. So, enjoy the video, and I'm out.